Now we're going to talk about embroidery edit feature. I've already explained that this is normal embroidery. This is embroidery edit. This is when you want to combine more than one line or you want to uh, include more than one design. Embroidery edit allows you to combine up to six designs into one design. You'll notice the screen is the same, but now as you select uh, your words or your design, it'll take a couple of seconds for the design to load. We're going to go ahead and um, uh, do two, two names, two words, and a little symbol. So we'll go into Times Roman. We're going to spell cat, but we're going to start out small because I've got a smaller hoop. Go to lowercase. And that's the, the first one. So we're done. Now notice there's a new button that's called Set. Now it might be fun to show you another feature that works, and that's called Array. This works better for longer words, but let's see if we can get the cat to do something. We could have it be curved like that. We could go diagonal. That's kind of a fun feature. Let's go ahead and have the cat be on the curve. Well, right now the design is in the center. Before we add our other designs, we need to move that word up. We'll end array assignment, and now we'll put the cat further up on the screen. It is important to look at your hoops. We've already made it too big for the small hoop, but I'm in the, or excuse me, the extra small, but we're in the small hoop, so that should still work. Now we'll push end. That completes our first design. Now we'll go back in. Oops, wrong one. I wanted the Times Roman. We're going to select the symbol, the ampersand, but I don't want it that big. I want it small. Now set that as well. Every design that loads up will come right in the middle. You have to decide where you're going to put it. I say we're fine with the way it is. So we're going to end that design. Now we'll be on number three, and we'll select D for dog, make it small. Oh, gee, whoops, I wanted lowercase. And then we're finished, so set that one. Notice it's coming right on top of the other one, but we'll just move it down with the arrows. Okay, so now we've done three designs. I could rotate that, I could change the size, I could array it. We'll go ahead and select end, and let's do a character. I know the cute little kitty cat is small, so we'll turn to the page of the cat and set. And then we could decide where to put the cat. We could go diagonal. The closer you get to the outside of the hoop area, then uh, it will ask you to go to a larger frame. So far, so good. Now it's faded, so I would have to go to a larger hoop. So let's see if I can bring it back. Still faded. Okay, now it's coming back into view, so we will end. Oh, I'll teach you about mirror image. This is really fun. Let's say we wanted the cat's tail to be on the left, so I could push that and flip my, my design. We'll go end. Now we need to correct. We need to fix something, so we'll go back in. I don't need to correct the cat, but I do want to go to the dog, so I'll go to select. It'll highlight the cat. Let's go ahead and raise that a little bit. And correct, select, let's do the ampersand, bring it up. So you've got some flexibility with the edit. And, and now we'll do the dog. move him up a little bit. Okay, that looks good. 
showed that my um, hoop was the correct size and edit. Now it's going to save the whole design as one design and it'll start with the cat. We do want to go into layout though because we want to do the trial. Now if I moved with the arrows, notice that the whole design moves with it. Even though there are four different designs in there, it's moving it all as one design. Okay, let's do the trial. And it will show the outline of your design. Everything looks good. Not going to hit the hoop. Lower the presser foot so the red turns to green. You can start, stop, cut your thread tail, and then you could continue. We're not going to finish this design right now, but I do want to show you how to park your machine when you're finished. You'll raise your presser foot, pull back on the lever, lift up on the frame, pull it out. Now, notice this it says always press when removing embroidery unit. Well, I like to put it in park position even to store the machine. So we'll push embroidery arm storage position. It moves that back into storage mode. Then you can go ahead and turn the machine off and you're finished.